Welcome to my weekly market roundup, 22nd December 2019. I am Sagar Nandi. I used to work in information technology, mostly based in Singapore. I have retired now and I am living in Thailand. I swing trade stocks using Q trading systems and techniques. This and other videos are available in my YouTube channel Trading Profitably. You may contact me using my email ID tradingprofitably at gmail.com. I regularly share my stock analysis in my traders forum sagarnandi.com and also on my Twitter page sagarnandi. All these resources are open to the public and you are most welcome to make use of them. Before I begin, let me go through the disclaimer. This demonstration is for educational purposes only. It is designed to share information on the trading systems and techniques I use. The information presented here should only be used by people who are aware of the risk inherent in trading Past performance is no guarantee of future return. I am not an investment advisor. This session is not for any recommendation of buying or selling stock or any other instrument. I will have no liability for any investment decision made by the audience. As usual, in today's topics, I will study oil and gold using technical analysis they tend to impact related stocks. Then I will demonstrate the use of the 360 degrees analysis technique to identify trading opportunities. That is a technique where you align the forces from the market level, sector industry level, fundamental level as well as technical level with your trades. That was the last slide of the presentation. I will now continue with the live system. Before I begin my usual market analysis, let me answer one of the questions that I received from a trader. The question was, is it possible to follow the ideas that I share? Maybe under the 360 degrees trade ideas USA category or the India category? The answer is yes you may click the category let's say 360 degrees trade ideas USA and then you will notice a plus icon at the top right hand corner you can click that to follow this category to get notified about new topics and replies that's an easy way to follow the ideas that I share without missing any one of them whenever any new idea is shared, you will get notified by email. Now I begin my commodities analysis. I'm starting with the US oil, the oil ETF in the USA market. I'm using Q at a glance chart template, which is a combination of the weekly backdrop chart template and daily hop on or entry chart template. I call this at a glance template because using this single template you can decide if there is a low risk swing trade entry opportunity at the right edge in only a few seconds. In the weekly chart USO is very near the memory trend line resistance. This week price tried to go up but ended with an upper tail though it has a hollow body as well therefore the shape is mixed the color is remaining bullish it was inside a triangle pattern created from the support memory at the bottom and the resistance memory at the top it is at the upper edge of the triangle pattern that is not a point where I would like to take a long trade. Instead, I would like to take a short trade if there is a proper trade setup. 
in the daily chart price is near the upper boundary level that is too extended to try any long trade can we take a short trade the answer will come from applying the checklists of the standard q trade setups where from can you get the q trade setups if you go to the traders forum sagarnandi.com then under the learn 360 degrees technique categories i have put a topic with all the books these books explain the trade setups and the unambiguous checklist associated with them if you apply the checklists of the trade setups that are available in q trading systems you will see as of friday's market close none of the trade setups are valid therefore there is no swing trade setup in uso right now what is my preferred trade direction at present it is in the bearish direction however there is no swing trade setup what may i do i may now switch to the intraday time frame using real time charts and if next week i see price is starting to go down then i may use the intraday charts the fine tune chart template to look for a low risk shorting opportunity where was the last trading opportunity in usoi i discussed that in one of the previous market roundups there was a memory support line at this point right on this day i explained in the market roundup at that time that because price was near the lower edge of a triangle pattern at that time the likely move of oil from there was upward you could switch to the intraday time frame at that time and look for a low risk buying opportunity and that trade would give you very large profit relative to the risk taken in that trade the way you could take a low risk long entry at the lower edge of a triangle pattern at that time you may try to apply the same technique to take a low risk short entry at the upper edge of the triangle pattern now because there is no trade setup using daily time frame you may switch to the intraday time frame to look for that gold etf gld one week ago in the last market round up i showed that the weekly backdrop candle color had turned bullish cyan earlier it was neutral and prior to that it was magenta the backdrop candle color transition from bearish magenta to neutral yellow to cyan bullish that showed you that gold was slowly becoming stronger though it was in an overall downtrend in the weekly chart one week ago price closed below the memory resistance line and i mentioned that you may not take a long trade unless price can break out of that this week price closed slightly higher it seems to break out of the weekly memory resistance line therefore you would start to look for a buying opportunity switching to the daily chart i can see that it is still inside a triangle pattern bound by multiple resistance memory trend lines and multiple support memory trend lines it is at the tip of the triangle pattern this is not a point where you may take a long trade you may wait for the price to break out of the triangle pattern in the daily chart and then look for a buying opportunity if at the point of breakout the stop loss is far away then you may wait for a pullback and then for price to go up again 
giving a trend following long trade setup that would be the next low risk long opportunity. That is the setup that is called go with flow trade setup in Q systems. After commodities analysis, I start with the market level analysis. That is the highest level of the 360 degrees analysis that I carry out. Starting with the S&P 500 ETF SPY. In the previous market roundup, I mentioned that the market was bullish. SPY was bullish and suggested continuing to hold any long position that you might have. This week, indeed price went up further, made a new all-time high. In the weekly chart, the backdrop candle color is bullish. Shape is bullish, though it has upper as well as lower tails. In the daily chart, price is going up in an uptrend. Price is supported by multiple memory support lines. It is at the upper boundary level that is too extended to take a long trip. My conclusion is the same as the previous week. If you have any long position, you may continue to hold the long position. It is too extended to take a new long trade right now. NASDAQ ETF QQQ. This is similar to SPY, even stronger. Price made a new all-time high. The weekly backdrop color is bullish and the shape is clearly bullish, more bullish than SPY. In the daily chart, price is going up above the upper boundary level. To extend it to take a new long trade, if you are holding long positions, you may continue to hold them. Dow Jones Industrial Average ETF DIA. Again, it made a new all-time high. Backdrop, candle color and shape both are bullish. Daily is in an uptrend. Too close to the upper boundary level to take a new long trend. You may continue to hold any long position you may have. Russell 2000 ETF IWM. This also made a new high, new yearly high, though not a new all time high. It is getting closer to the previous all time high. The weekly backdrop candle color and shape both are bullish. Daily is going up at the upper boundary level. Again, same conclusion. It is bullish but too extended to take a new long trade right now. That completes the market level analysis. What is the conclusion? The conclusion is that market is clearly bullish. The bulls are in control. What is the purpose of the market level analysis? To assess if market is bullish or bearish. If market is bullish as it is now, then I look for only long trades. In which sector and industry? That I can decide from the sector industry rotation analysis. After market level, I carry out the next level of the 360 degrees analysis. That is the sector level analysis. Here I am studying the 11 sectors across three review periods. The red bars represent this week's performance, green bar previous week's performance and the blue bars two weeks performance before that. Together they represent one month of sector performance. Any bar to the right of the zero line shows the sector went up and any bar to the left of the zero line so the sector went down. 
this week all the 11 sectors went up all the red bars are to the right of the zero line all the 11 sectors went up none went down how was the picture one week ago seven sectors went up and four went down therefore sector strength improved from one week ago prior to that in the two weeks period again all sectors were up no sector was down this one month sector performance shows a bullish picture more reason to look for only long trades and avoid taking short trades that was the one month sector performance analysis to see the sector rotation over one year period i used the sector scorecard and heat map here all the 11 sectors are scored across 12 monthly review periods and then more frequently over recent periods 10 day 5 day etc for all these periods the score is assigned larger score means stronger and smaller score means weaker you may not need to read the scores cyan color means strong and magenta means weak looking at this scorecard and heat map you can decide which sectors are strong if i sort by five day period instantly you can see that energy and consumer staples are the strongest though all sectors went up the strongest ones are energy and consumer staples and the weakest ones are financials industrials as the market is bullish I am not going to look for shorting opportunities. I am going to look for buying opportunities. And it may make sense to look for the buy setups in the strongest sectors. That is in energy and consumer staples. Other than using the strength of the sector, you may also use the acceleration or deceleration. That is shown by the pace column. Again, cyan represents acceleration, magenta represents deceleration. If you want to buy in the accelerating sectors, you may look for the opportunities in consumer staples and real estate. And if you were to look for shorting opportunities, you might look for them in materials and financials. Again, because the market is bullish, I am not going to look for shorting opportunities only look for buying opportunities and you might look for them either in energy and consumer staples using the strength or consumer staples and real estate using acceleration consumer staples is the common sector that is both strong and also accelerating fast and it makes perfect sense to look for buying opportunities in that sector let me explain how you can use this sector rotation analysis in live market to buy stocks well ahead of others let's focus on the energy sector i discuss this sector rotation in every market roundup if you are watching the market roundups, all the videos are available in the YouTube channel. You would know that earlier, all the review periods were weak from 12 month period to 5 day period. Then, several weeks ago in the market roundup, I showed that the 5 day period turned bullish. Cyan. At that time, the 10 day period, month 1, month 2, and the other periods were still magenta. Subsequently, both 5 day and 10 day period turned cyan, showing clearly that energy was starting to turn around. In the previous market roundup, I showed that 5 day, 10 day, as well as month 1 period, were bullish 
and now you can see even month to period has turned bullish. This sector rotation heat map clearly showed the turning around of the energy sector. And using that sector rotation, you could buy fundamentally strong stocks well ahead of others. Because the sector was weak for a long time, those buying opportunities would be more bottom catching opportunities, not breakout opportunities at the top. Let me share one example of such a trade that was in HP. This is HP using the at a glance weekly daily chart template. This example will also show you how I use the Q trade setups and signals effectively. The stock was coming down in this area. At that time the sector, energy sector was also weak. Then it created a double bottom at this point. The weekly ended with a bullish shape, bullish color candle. Where was the daily at that time? It was at this point. It came to the watermark support in the daily. It created a double bottom. When price was declining, it was declining with very high volume. And then on this day, this yellow candle price went up. If you apply the checklist conditions of the bounce long trade setup, you'd see that on this day you had a bounce long trade setup. That was a bottom catching opportunity using the exertion based bounce long trade setup. In this case, price bounced from the watermark support in daily as well as the watermark support in weekly. Your stop would be just below the recent low and you could start to book profit once the risk distance was covered. You could book partial profit on this day itself and continue to hold the remaining position. From there price has gone up and you have a large profit on the remaining position. That was how you could use the bounce long trade setup effectively. You could take a long position in this stock in other ways as well. This is the headwind possible reversal signal. Whenever this signal appears, I am looking for a possible reversal trade. When the reversal signal came in the weekly, I could then switch to the daily chart to look for a buy setup. And that buy setup came on this day that was a go with flow trend following long trade setup using the daily interval. Stop would be just below the recent low using the Q protection signal. It hit the upper boundary one day later and then moved little bit down and went up again. During this entire period the stop that you could set using the Q protection signal that was not hit. Therefore, you would remain in the long trend. As of Friday's close, it has hit the upper boundary level and you could book at least partial profit. That was a second technique you could use to take a long position in HP. If you are a more longer term investor, you could use a third technique. When the bullish headwind signal appeared, the possible reversal signal in the weekly chart, you could start to look for a buying opportunity using the weekly chart. The setup would be similar to go with flow setup but using the weekly chart and you could buy the stock at the close of this weekly candle. That was the time when it created a higher low and went up again with a bullish shape candle. You would not try to buy on the previous candle because the 
candle shape was not bullish. This should be the candle where you take a long position and if you did that, you already have significant profit. Both the weekly and daily are bullish now. Whatever technique you use to take the long trade, that is whether you took the bounce long trade setup, you took the go with flow long trade setup, both using daily charts, or you took the long trade setup using the weekly chart. Whatever technique you use, as the weekly and daily, both are technically very bullish, there is no reason to exit full position. You could probably book profit on partial position to take some profit of the table and then continue to hold the remaining position with a trailing stop trying to let profit run. The sector was turning around energy sector and the stock HP in that sector was also turning around. Therefore it made sense to buy the stock. You could buy it I think well ahead of others. However, that was not all. The 360 degrees approach that I follow, there I also look at the industry strength and fundamental strength and try to align them in my trades favor. How is the fundamental of this stock? Let's find out from the peer analysis tool. I am using HP as the root stock. It has retrieved data of the stock. In real time, this belongs to oil and gas drilling industry. Let's check out the industry strength first. The industry is clearly turning around. It is turning around very nicely, just like the sector is also turning around. It was weak earlier and now it is one of the strongest industries. If you would like to see the percentage moves, then from the industry percentage tab you can see that it was one of the weaker industries earlier. Now it is one of the strongest industries. Over this weekly period it went up by almost 7%. Over one month period the industry has gone up by 30%. The industry strength was in favor of taking a long trade in the stock HP. How is the fundamental of the stock? Let's go back to the peer analysis tool. This stock went up again on Friday by 1.87%. Over 10 day period it has gone up by 8.6%. In spite of the move up, it is still undervalued, having the best possible valuation score. It has robust earnings quality, a short squeeze potential, and it has excellent earnings growth as well. In the last three quarterly periods, the earnings growth is positive and significant. It has significant earnings growth in the last yearly period as well. Fundamentally, the stock is strong. Therefore, you could take a long trade in this stock HP right at the very bottom using multiple possible Q trade setups, pounds or go with flow setups. The stock was fundamentally strong. It gave technical trade setups. The industry was turning around and the sector was also turning around. That gave a perfect 360 degrees buying opportunity right at the very bottom and you could reap significant profit from that trade. Whether buying undervalued stocks at the very bottom, buying breakouts in high growth stocks at the very top or buying a stock that is neither overvalued nor undervalued fundamentally neither overbought nor oversold technically. That would probably be a trend following trade in the middle. 
you can take all these kinds of threads using the 360 degrees technique. Aligning the forces from the sector, industry, fundamental and technical together. I share such ideas regularly in my traders forum. You may keep an eye on them. Let me summarize. In the previous market roundup, I analyzed the market to be bullish. That was effective. This week market went up again. SPY, QQQ, DIA. The three market ETFs made new all-time highs. IWM also went up. It made a new yearly high. The market level is bullish all across. What about the sector level? That is also bullish. All the sectors went up and they went up by significant percentages. The sector level strengthened from previous week. Market level is bullish, sector level is bullish. It is better to take only long trades in such a market. At the same time, you may avoid taking long trades in stocks that are fundamentally overvalued or technically overbought. That is all that I plan to share in today's session. Thank you for attending. I look forward to seeing you in my next session. Have a great week and trade profitably.